my dearest brothers and sisters, in the early 1400s, the bishops and the religious authorities of the Christian world got together in a beautiful place called London, a very beautiful place called London, and they all got together to debate whether women were human or not. And they came up with the conclusion that no, they were not human. Right. In the year 1746, in France, again, a very enlightened group of Christian clergymen got together in a very beautiful place, in a very, very beautiful place called Paris, in order to debate whether women truly were devils or have we improved in our thought of who they are. So they had a debate for three days, intense debate, pros and cons, pluses and minuses. Who are they? What are they? What's their true nature? <laughs> They're talking about their mothers for God's sakes. They're talking about their mothers and their wives and their daughters and their sisters. What did they conclude? They concluded that mm, they are human, but their souls are lesser than the souls of men. And this was the conclusion of this council of clergymen in the year 1746. And in the year 1700, after the birth of Jesus Christ, a man by the name of Muhammad وسلم, had a very different conclusion. He had said women are not only equal to men, but they can actually be sometimes even better than men. Subhanahu khaliq ladeen. It is such a shame that when a Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, this blessed man who gave such value to women and removed these misconceptions and these idiocracies that people said about their other half, that subhanallah that it is now today that we say that Islam denigrates women. What a irony subhanallah. What a hypocrisy. What a hypocrisy. The West are children of these same bishops from France and of the same, same bishops from, from UK who said these sort of things. And today now we believe that we have liberated women whereas Islam had done that so many years ago.